calm down before you stress up the groove The energy a little different when the blessings accrue Hey, who you talking to? Just know I ain't no regular fool Could be anything in the world, but I can never be you Because I head tall like I'm on my tiptoes Baby, you think a little too small I got big goals, baby, hey, where the money? Yeah, look, I just need What's up, everybody? My name is Paulo Rubio, otherwise known as GN. Welcome to FMA Source. Today I got something super amazing. Now, you may have never seen anything like this before. This is Hubud and this is Chisau integrated. I can't wait for you guys to see it, but before I show you that video, a few things. First of all, thank you so much to everybody that's subscribed to this channel. For those who haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing that. Hit that thumbs up and please hit that notification bell so you don't miss another episode of FMA Source. This is our community. We're going to build it the way exactly that we want. The point of this channel isn't that we're going to agree on everything. No, no, no. In fact, it is almost guaranteed that we're not going to agree on everything. Now on to the video, we have Sifu Mark Medieros and Coach Steve Dinamo. These guys are both Filipino martial arts practitioners with a wealth of different arts under their belt. We're talking Sambo, Judo, Jiu Jitsu, Muay Thai, Boxing, Jeet Kune Do, Wing Chun, you name it. These guys are lifers in the martial arts. And right now they are all about the Filipino martial arts. And their interpretation of Hubad and Chisau is unlike anything you've ever seen before unless of course you're one of those old school guys who had a little bit more freedom coming up and saw Hubad and saw Chisau and thought you know I think there's more to this drill than just the squared up super choreographed patty cake demonstration that we often see in videos so I hope I hope you haven't seen anything like this before but if you have you're in the right place, homie, because this is going to seem familiar and you're really going to appreciate the fact that these guys are pushing Hubad, they're pushing Chisau in ways, in directions that it's really supposed to go. But what you're about to see is not the way, it's a way. But the spirit of it is universal, and that is a spirit of exploration, isolation, and then reintegration to create something that is uniquely your own. FMA is meant to do this. I think sometimes we get caught up in just following what Guru says or Tuhan says or Grandmaster says that we forget that at the core of Filipino martial arts is personal interpretation and self-expression. So if you're inspired by this video, again, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, leave me a comment. Yo, let's talk about it. I wanna tell you also that this video it's just the tip of the iceberg. These guys are coming to my garage almost every week and they're pushing this forward. Uh, if you want to support the channel, I'm going to leave a link in the description for this dope hoodie. What is that, Paulo? Like, you know, FMA apparel can sometimes be too scully, too wolfy, too chicken bloody. You can't wear it to work. Jim from HR is going to nab you for it. You're going to scare Karen uh, from accounting. So look, do you see the Ka symbol? It's kind of hidden. You'll see what it says in the back after the video, I'm gonna pop it in, but the links are in the description. On top of that, I'm gonna show you a dope boudoir shirt that you can purchase right now. Again, every bit of this money goes towards um, supporting more video production so that we can continue to present Filipino martial arts in this way. So if you appreciate it, we appreciate you. Please consider copping one of these hoodies or the t-shirt that I'm gonna show you at the end of the video. Now, without further ado, because I've been talking so much, which I often do, I'm really, really sorry. Here is Sifu, here are Sifu Mark Medieros and coach Steve Dinamo exploring the crap out of Hubad and Chisau. My people, enjoy the video. I'll see you at the end of it, okay? Watch until the very end. Chisau is about a generator, right? And it's pressure and I'm worried about the center line. I don't wanna cross myself because that's when this shit happens. But basically, it's not just that, but it's about pushing me back. If you push me back, I'll step back before this collapse. So I'm keeping this bubble, right? And so I always used to say, like, this is great, this is all oh, that's awesome, but what am I really using this for? Where am I going to really apply this for? So, like, you know when you're in time, you start to go in for the clinch? This is already a chi out. You're already fighting. So it's like this generator, and I'm looking to get into these clinch positions, like we were just working. But at a, at a base level, just understand, focus on center line. Off center line, back to Hubad. Right, so you just move Hubad, and then when I stick, the arm sticks, 
back into that chi saw energy. All right? And then I'll oh, right into Huba right away. Because now, I don't want to be just be like focused on the center line. I have to focus on the center line, off the center line. So this is the game. I'm just going one generator, focus on one energy, two, next energy. And then when I want to get back, you see that moment he sticks? Mm -hmm. So when you when you get that con like that um, reference point, you're trying to push that in, that's when I need to learn how to keep that that pocket because otherwise you're collapsing, right? So I keep that pocket, that's when the generator starts happening. Because that's really what that's gonna look like, because I'm just looking to fight for this, which is in and itself what we're doing. So maybe it's good for people who do Wing Chun or who want to play with Chi Sao, find a way to actually use that energy to get into things that you're gonna see in a fight, like the clinch, because this is a generator in itself. And then that shot comes in. Now we're playing with that. Now it sticks to me. See, there's that, that's what that Chi Sao is about, that sensitivity and not looking for that. It doesn't necessarily mean I have to stay here. I went for seven of you see? Yeah. Like, I did that to go back to the drill. Because really, if you grab me and I grab you and you grab my hand, this is already a, this is already the generator. Yeah. It's, yeah exactly. this, there's going to be hand fighting here. It's the same. And that's where that generator, that's where these attributes are going to be built within. So my whole thing was, I trained traditional Wing Chun, played with the Chi Sao, but then I was like, okay, in the Thai clinch, I want to get to this. How do I get to this? I got to fight with this. And that's why I'm keeping my elbows in. I'm controlling this. Yeah, and see how I'm pushing? I'm not keeping this. I'm not allowing this to be collapsed. And if it does, then I have to play the different game. But when you do Muay Thai, you don't look like Wing Chun. Absolutely not. I don't want to look like anything but the remedy for the situation. That doesn't mean the principles and theories can't be applied, right? I'm still covering my center line. I'm using that stick. But it's just, it's not going to look like this but my hands are doing that. I'm keeping my elbows in. I'm not allowing my elbow to touch my body. I'm keeping that, that pocket. So you can push me all at once. But see, I'm keeping this. Right, so how might that look like uh, in a recognizably Muay Thai way? So you can manufacture, you can just show it's us. Like, it's like even when you're playing with this. I have my hand on the bicep, hold on. Hand on the bicep, yep. hand on the head. And he's gonna control this here. He's gonna wanna get to this. So here's a chisa, exactly. So if he tries to punch over top, I match that. See, I, I close the door. He tries to, I go underneath here, I close the door. This is Chisa, but it's shortened. That's really... Because it's an energy drill. My it's focus, the same energy. My focus is on his head. This is shoulder from here, look, see? But see, I frame that, see how I frame the center line? So he tries to walk into me. And then I cross it. It's brilliant. That's all it is, I'm just He's looking. had my, he controlled my center all the way through. My mind was like, no, I have to start fighting for center my technique. And that's the hand replacement. So when I do this and he cuts across, he cut across the other way, boom, boom. So it's like, you're not looking to stick to one formula. You're looking to use your tactile sense to understand the structure needed for the question being posed. And whether that's who bud, Chi Sao, Sticky Hand, Wrestling, it's all relevant because it's part of the same family. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I felt from when he transferred his Chi Sao into Muay Thai that he was just substituting the technical part. But uh, the energy felt exactly the same in terms of principle, right? It, uh, so he maintained the energy. I, uh, going to Muay Thai Chi Sao, see, he's controlling. He can read what I'm gonna do. And during this time, anyone has technical knowledge? This is where I'm, my summary of dealing with an expert is that he uh, had my center. So let's we'll go again. I'm like, right, so he has my center. So now I'm thinking, technically, I gotta get center. And this is not necessarily good for me against a guy like Mark. He can use that as a huge bait. Me taking center and then all of a sudden I'm on my head. So he, this is a dangerous guy who has uh, a control of energy and can substitute it. That means that in here he's like, are you serious about this, bro? <laughs> right? It, 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 but he's taking that feeling and he's substituting it. Someone might be hanging onto his leg, so he can't do what the textbook asks. But what 
they were trying to get to was the enemy. This is, he's playing out that same, he's got my center. Right now, if I happen to be from a Wing Chun temple and he wants to go completely classical, he's going to find it. But he's using, I feel like he's using it all appropriate. And the minute I recognize, like I'm doing this, and, it, and now he has the opposite, that's when I now have to change with my, like you're saying, contact with the chest, contact with the head control. I have to recognize when it's, I can't be like um, prideful with what I want to do. I have to do what is going to make me win because it's about, that's the difference between martial art expression and the martial portion is one is expressive, one is about a, a result. So I have to understand that. When I'm doing my own thing and I'm working on one art, I'll stay focused on that one art because I'm focused on one aspect. When I'm focused on fighting, I'm focused how to use pieces of the art for my objective. So now my approach is the why if someone no one's gonna hit you on the top of the head with focus mode. This is what I am implementing. So stick to the hands, you see there's a punch, which would be my face, right? There's the toe. Your chi son. I just uh, we spoke last night about equipment. And both of us would be into a tactical helmet here. So there could be a nice bump so we can keep on the energy, right? You don't want to say, okay, we're crashing in here. You want to actually finish. No, we'll go slow. So back to who we are. There's a punch. Okay, so without the knife, that's why you see me doing stuff like this. So now I mentioned before the concept of groupings. One of the groupings is me repeating my story. So I tell them, I tell them, look up, you see this here. Be prepared that I might double up. I might double up on this. There's my single. Okay. So here goes. Back to a single. That's just a grouping. Right, so now I go back to easy pass. So he used huba luba to slip and then continue on. And we stay with huba luba, the chi sap. Now I'm just posing my face. Right? He doesn't want no trouble. But I'm getting into his space. Right? Okay. So now I'm getting on, I wake up. Back to basics. I tell him the group from this corner. Where I'm gonna double up. Again. So he sends the huba huba or that component without me having to say. Uh, we go again. Easy. I just play on target. Watch out for my my kid. See, but I'm not getting excited enough where I keep that rate. I threw a kick for his head. He dealt with it. Now we start pawing. Start pawing. Because it could be a long neck. Right? So watch out for my knee. I refer to Mark getting into his chi saw because I know it's his clinch, like his energy that means he's gonna tie up, control, take my center, right? This is his signature, completely. Look, there's she saw, right? Off of pads. So now we go back to Huber a little bit. Let me see Mark. I can feel my left switch kick, but not necessarily good. Watch out for me. 
Dave is cheap for So now we go back to the little Easy, easy. So I think you can see on this time I flex. So I don't have to start playing. If I smack my shot at you, touch and go. Do it again. Again, I'm going to flex. So I made you have to move me out of the way. where a guy like Mark can utilize this energy. So I have this, okay? Now he knows. He can get that so he reacts appropriately. Now it fights. He has to do something completely different. It's in and out. It's in and or it flex. Flex is just keeping it there. Flex is just kind of Le leave, leaving it there. Pose, flex. a little bit of grappling style energy. To me, that translates to like... This. Got it. Okay. Uh, with also, what's important is that we keep this broken rhythm because that flex could be just a shock. Now it's time for me to clear. Maybe deal with someone else. So the free energies. Hey, this is very important. There's this thing. Now we're back to it. Where it's all wired. <laughs> Whoa, I'm gonna stop the video right there because it's getting a little bit complicated. Maybe it's looking a little fancy. I want to mention this is not a simulation of a fight. This is not a fight. This is a drill. This is an exploration actually of two drills integrating a whole bunch of things into it. If you want to isolate a moment in time, what happened was he intercepted it and he punched the guy in the face. If that's how you want to look at it, totally fine. But remember, not a simulation of a fight, not a real fight. This is not how fights go. This is a drill. I know most of you guys know that. A lot of you guys are really, really smart about this, but there will be internet comments. And even if I say this, there will be internet comments down below that says, well, that's not how fights go. Let's keep watching. It's like I feel like a goalie in a net during a power play 
and Steve's like the opposing team. So the power play is when your offensive team is down a man. They're down a man, they're in your zone, yeah. and basically it's like the passing, so the noise is there, the deception is there, pop, pop, pop. So as a goalie, I'm constantly facing my work, facing my work, facing my work, dealing with fades, and that's what the hoobud, now those generators are. This is like, and then when I, he shows me the pad, that's the actual shot, and I make the save. So it's <laughs> learning like how to be calm in the noise and focus on the opportunity. Yeah. And then like, fire. That's a really good stress drill, composure drill, reaction drill, accuracy. It's so many benefits to it. There's so much going on that it liberates me from being focused on one thing. Yeah. I like the power play analogy. It's going to confuse a lot of people who don't watch hockey, but Canadian hockey martial arts guys are going to be like, yes, Mark, we totally get what you're saying. Other people are like, hockey? The hell is that? All right. If you enjoyed that video, if you want to see more, make sure to smash that like button. I really, really appreciate that. It lets YouTube know that you're interested in this content, so it'll populate it in your feed. It won't hide it. Um, if you really like this content and you like the direction of this channel so far, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you want to be among the first to watch these videos, hit that notification bell. And if you want to support the team, I'm going to drop some descriptions or some links in the description. You guys can get this dope hoodie. Super, super comfy hoodie, you guys. Super comfy. Now, in this logo, we have the Ka symbol, K-A. That has meaning in so many cultures, but it has special meaning in Filipino martial arts. If you don't know what kind of meaning, it's actually multi-layered relating to respect, honor, integrity, and so much more. Go ahead and Google Ka meaning. Um, and also, if you want to support the Boudoir Crew, if you like that video about Chi Sao and Hu Bud, I'm going to put a link in the description to get you some, uh, some Boudoir Fight Club uh, merch. Again, every little bit goes a long way towards us having the ability to continue to deliver you this kind of material that well, we hope you enjoy. Thank you very much for watching FMA Source, you guys. My name is GN, talking a lot, really, really fast. I really appreciate I just, I just want to say thank you. For, every, for, for all of you who have already subscribed and have hit that thumbs up and commented, yo, I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate you. So until next time, peace out.